Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kimber and I'm the woman behind Kimber's Cozy Creations. Um, I dye yarn full time and yeah. Um, some of you may know that tomorrow starts summer sock camp that Kay over at Crazy Sock Lady hosts. This is the third year, third year in a row that she's done it. Um, and I'm actually gonna do it this year because why not? So today I'm gonna go through kind of like what my first plans are for summer sock camp and then I'm hoping to do every week do like an update video of like what I've gotten done what I like if plans change or whatnot hopefully every week if not every other week so to start off I have the shirt I don't know if you can can't really see it very well I'm sitting outside in our front yard it's so nice out it's what, 75 and sunny a nice little breeze um hopefully you guys can hear me okay if not i'll fix it whatever um the past couple days it's been 55 for 50 55 and raining bjorn's here um so it's very nice to have sunshine i'm hoping it's nice tomorrow as well because i was hoping to get a lot of hammock knitting in for the kickoff for summer sock camp but we'll see what the weather does because it's crazy. Um, so basically, quick summary if you don't know what Summer Sock Camp is. It is a three month, yeah, three months of just a knit along, make along really. Um, any kind of socks, whatever. Kay has a lot more detail over on her YouTube channel. I will post a link down below for that. Um, she does a whole video explaining what it is, how to enter for prizes and all that stuff. So I will link that down below. Um, but this year I was lucky enough to be one of the dyers, the exclusive dyers for Crazy Sock Camp. So Kay has mini sets that I've dyed specifically for Summer Sock Camp 2022 over in her shop that'll go up on Saturday what is it? Saturday the 28th, which is tomorrow. Today's the 27th that I'm filming this. I'm hoping to get this up tonight so it would be tomorrow they go live. Um, I'll post a link to her shop down below too. But these are... So this is the mini set. I'll bring it in a little bit. So I have both socks done, which is very strange for me. Ends are woven in and everything, which is crazy. So I used her scrappy stripey recipe, I guess, for and used the mini sets as the scrap stripes, even though they're not scraps. But those are the five colors that are in the mini set. And then this is my Misty Mountain colorway, um, which is just a very pretty, kind of neutrally gray, goes with everything. Um, so the mini sets, I had them on the, the toe too. The mini sets will be in Kay's shop tomorrow and I will have 50 grams of Misty Mountain in my shop tomorrow as well on both the fingering, my cozy fingering, which is the one that I use for this, and then my Tough DK, which is also a 75 Superwash Merino, 25% nylon. Um, in my shop, I'll have the 50 gram skeins if you wanna do this whole thing going on here but the mini sets are only in k-shop um so i guess that kind of takes care of that they said i don't know if she'll have the so lighting gonna be a lot better hopefully it doesn't change too much not that that is better now hopefully it stays like this for the rest of this video um Kay will have a bunch of other camp exclusives up in her shop tomorrow. Um, she's been saying she doesn't know if and when there'll be restocks. So if there's something that you're keeping your eye on, go get it as soon as you can. Um, and we'll see what happens with that. So, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so I have a couple goals for sock camp. I'm hoping to obviously knit socks um finally attempt to learn slash fully learn nine inch circulars because i haven't tried that yet 
I've done socks on DPNs and I don't like it. So I'm not going to do that because why make myself do something I don't like. Um, and then my go-to is Magic Loop two at a time. Because if I don't get the second sock done right away, it's probably not going to get done for a while. So, but I'm going to try nine. There's mosquitoes everywhere. So I'm sorry if it looks like I'm like freaking out. There's what well, earlier today they weren't out and now they're everywhere. So it's fun. Um, so nine inch circulars is going to be kind of like my main goal for summer sock camp. Um, but I already have, I think eight socks planned or at least yarn picked out that I want to do. Um, so we'll go through that. Why not? First one. Oh, actually first I got this bag today in the mail. It's super cute. There we go. Has like little campers, tents. There's little bears on it. Um, this is from the White Rose Fiber Company. And she has them in, in her Etsy shop. I don't know if she has any extra ones now or if she's planning on making more. But I will link her Etsy shop below just so you can go check out all her other bags. They're really, really cute. And the inside is like this super cute lantern. And it has a box bottom. It's a pretty good size. I got the, she had like the sock size and then I think this was her medium size. I ended up getting the medium just because if I want to use it for shawls and whatnot, it would make more sense. Um, so my plan is like active sock projects for summer sock camp are going to go in here. So, and I just got it in the mail today. So tonight I'll probably throw the first one in here. So it's ready to go for tomorrow. Um, the first one I'm going to knit up is this. like a rainbow speckled I was gifted this yarn it's from Hobby Lobby it's their yarn be cozy toes and it's the colorway shine like summertime um, it is only a 50 gram little half skein so I'm going to make some journey socks out of this and those are by oh my goodness I have it written down here there are mosquitoes everywhere. Holy cow. Um, the journey socks are by Margaret for Heidi and, La Heidi and Lana. Um, I've made a couple pairs before. I really like them. They ended up super, super quick. And I think for my feet, I use like 46, 47 grams. So a 50 gram cake should be enough, but it's going to be close. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I've never used this yarn before. I'm interested to see, like it's stretchier than most yarn, so I'm interested to see what happens with it. So we'll see how that goes. But this is what I'm gonna cast on first tomorrow, just cause it's gonna be a quick wham bam, thank you ma'am, one pair of socks done. Um, so that'll be my first cast on tomorrow. And then these other ones, I don't necessarily have a plan at least as far as order for them. I have a couple patterns picked out, um, but a lot of them's just gonna be, I'll pick up the yarn, see what I feel like making, and then go for it. Um, so this one I do kind of have a plan for. It is the West Yorkshire Spinners Signature Four Ply. And it's their peacock colorway. And this one, is what I'm gonna try my nine inch circulars for. Use those for nine inch circs. Cause my thought process is, it is a 75-25 wool nylon blend. So it's your typical, like whatever sock yarn is usually 75-25 or 80-20, but I usually get 75-25. But it's not necessarily hand dyed. And even though I dye yarn and I've used it enough that I know it's pretty durable and it can sustain quite a bit, before it completely just falls apart and is no good anymore. I still get nervous about like knitting and frogging, knitting and frogging and like messing up the yarn. So since this is more of a commercial 
sock yarn. I won't feel as bad if I completely ruin it. That's kind of my thought process. So this will be my first attempt at nine inch circulars. We'll see how it goes. It's pretty soft. It's a, a little bit more rusticy than I was kind of expecting, but it's not that bad. I'm excited. And then, so that's two socks so far. Third set so far is this one from Mandy's Making. Hard to tell if it's focusing or not. And this is her Picking Wildflowers share a pair. It's a super pretty, like, green mint and then the speckled. I'm really excited about this one. Um, one of my Instagram friends had the share a pair, so she had both sets of it. And she was looking for somebody to knit a pair of socks with her. And I said, I would love to. So then she sent it to me. Get out of here, mosquito. Um, and so we're gonna knit the Wildflower Seeds sock by Dana Ray Makes. Um, I'll see if I can put in a picture. I don't know, don't know how good I am at edit editing still. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, but I will definitely put links below for any of the patterns and yarns that I mention. So this one I'm really excited for. They're super pretty and it's just fun to knit the same pair of socks as somebody else at the same time so this one's exciting three down um this next one is this one that green's really gonna blow it out look at that it's like a blue stripey but speckly and then there's this really bright neon green mini with it um, this is from Inked Sheep Fibers. Uh, this was a, she was doing a, like a mystery sock club for a while. I don't think she's doing it anymore. I think she might even, hi bud, hi. Might even be taking a break from dyeing yarn. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this was from, I think, like May of 2019 or something. It's like, I've had this one for a while. Um, so I'll knit it up this summer. It's a very fun summery type colorway. Uh, don't know what pattern. I don't know. If you have suggestions, let me know. But I am excited to knit this up. There we go. So I'm excited for that one. It's been in my stash for a while. It's about time it gets, gets used. Um, next, that's what, four? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, yep. So the fifth one we got planned here. This is from Malia Made It. And it is this bright neon goodness. It is called Glow On. It's a neon rainbow, it's a self-striping. Um, and then there's this fun kind of variegated mini that goes with it. So that's going to be a super fun neon self-striping. So I'm thinking maybe once I get, once I try the nine inch circs on that other one, if they work well and I like them, maybe do self-striping on nine inch circs because that just sounds fun. Um, I don't know. May probably just do them vanilla because it is a self-striping and that seems fun enough. I have seen, but I'll probably do, um, people will knit the uh, self-striping pretty much vanilla, but at the row, the round that switches color, pretty sure it's just like a knit one, slip one. So then it gets like this just cute little kind of jagged line where the color changes. So it's not just like a boring straight line it's kind of has a little bit of texture fun to it so i'm thinking that's what i'll do for this one because it is a super fun self-striping but then we have another malia made it set if you will 
There, there we go, that's pretty. Um, this is the macaron sock mini skein kit is what she calls it. Um, there is a pattern pretty just called the what macaron oh my goodness macaron socks it's by manda manda j designs she also is little bitty designs on instagram i believe and i'll try to put a picture in there too super super cute basically it's just like little macarons the whole way up the sock so it's like one in each color um and then this is like the the filling i guess you would call it so it's gonna be a super cute pastel pastel thing going on there again that's one that i've had for a while i just haven't gotten around to it so i figured why not do it now good a time as any isn't it yeah um so second to last one that i have kind of picked out already is another self-striping i think we're just going to go for a self-striping moment here and it is get it out of the bag here it is this super cute i don't know if the colors are going to show up very well it's like blue pink purple green there's like two different shades of green blue and then it has just a gray mini that goes with it and then there's a brown and a gray stripe as well i fell in love with this one obviously got it it's probably last summer now couldn't tell you who the dyer is i don't know where the tag went for it i'm pretty sure the colorway is called moo or something like that so if you know if you recognize this and you know what dyer this is if you could let me know that'd be awesome because I would love to get more of their stuff and or at least give them credit for this because it's beautiful but this one's really fun though because it has so you, I don't know if you can so like there's the color obviously Let's see if it, but then there's like little itty bitty gray stripes on both sides of the color so it's almost like a self striping but a micro stripe it's really really cool um but yes, I'm really excited about this one. And then obviously toe, toe heels cuffs with the gray mini. So again, don't remember the dyer. Pretty sure the name was Mood something or another. Or like Moody or Moods or something like that. Um, but yeah, if you recognize it, if it's yours, if you know who it is, let me know. Because that would be awesome. So that's another planned one that I got going on. And then the last planned one I have is, oh my goodness, I'm getting eaten alive by the mosquitoes out here. Dang. Um, sorry, I'm sitting on the ground, getting old. It's not that comfortable, but we're making it do. Is, and then this isn't, right now this one's living in my, was it Fates Thread bag? It says out of spoons, only knives has a little rainbow knife and it's a rainbow zipper and even the stitching I don't know if you can see that or not but the stitching is in a rainbow too which is pretty cool um oh hey I have needles in here already that's handy and I have two sets of needles somewhere else so we're good to go um this one is going to be kind of a make it up as I go potential new design type of thing it is going to be so kind of like, there's a breeze here, kind of like these ones where it's stripey, but I'm going to do like chevron stripes and they'll be a little bit wider. I think I'm going to do, these are four rounds per color. I think mine are, gonna, the chevron ones are going to be five or six, I haven't charted up, I think it's five or six like rows thick I guess, but we'll see how that goes because this is going to be the main color. It's black and white, basically, and gray. There's, I don't know if you can hear those birds or not, but whatever they are. Focus. Doesn't want to focus now. 
Here, I'll focus on that. There we go. So it's like black and white. And then it's going to have different, well, these are not in the right order, but I'm going to have different minis. So you got a light purple, medium purple, pink, pink, and a yellow. So those are going to be like the chevron things. Um, all of this yarn didn't have tags on it in my stash. I've had it for, what, four years now or so. So it's just going to, I don't know who they are, unfortunately. But it's going to be nice to get some yarn out of my stash. So... Yeah, so we'll see how that one goes. I do have it charted up already. I just haven't obviously done anything because I wanted to wait for summer sock camp, which is nice that it's tomorrow because I haven't knit on socks in probably a week and a half now because I've been wanting to wait for summer sock camp. So it's going to be nice to have socks on the needles again. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have planned right now. I'm sure other stuff will come up. Oh, and I have, I'm going to knit a pair using my We Share Needles sock set. Insert photo here. Um, is the sock that I dyed up for Mandy and Kristen of We Share Needles podcast. They're also here on YouTube. If you haven't checked them out yet, go do so. They're amazing. Um, it's another 50-50 set. So I don't know what, what, pattern or how anything I'm going to do with that one yet again if you have suggestions let me know um but I'm going to knit those up too they have a knit along or make along I keep calling it a knit along it's going to be a make along starting on Memorial Day so Monday the 30th yeah Monday the 30th for uh their two colors movie knitting and it cut me off how rude um i need to figure that out because that's annoying um anyways so they're having a make along using movie knitting and whip it out again i'll put pictures in here what those look like um you can get those in my shop um oh my god mosquitoes um yeah those are available in my shop they will be forever as far as i can tell uh but the make along like i said starts on Monday Memorial Day. I don't remember off the top of my head how long it's going to go. I think it's a, I think it was Memorial Day to Labor Day, I think is what they said. But you should go check them out. They have more information on that. Um, but yeah. Uh, and I also have, I did a thing trying to stay organized and stuff. In my bullet journal, I put down, so I have a like just a general summer sock camp 2022 thing. I'm gonna have like how many pairs I knit, yardage, grams used, and then for each pair of socks, I'm just doing a very basic, like when I start it, when I finish it, what yarn pattern, uh, what method I end up using, what needles I use, and then how many grams and yards each one, each pair uses, because that type of stats fascinates me like it's insane I've yeah anyways so that's just what I'm doing to keep track I'm also going to put on Ravelry probably the project pages for each pair uh, I don't think I'm going to do too much in Kay's Ravelry group just because I don't understand them all that much and it's just an extra level of stress I guess that I don't need right now I'll probably like check in and look at stuff every once in a while especially like for my yarn that people use because I'm always interested to see what people do with it so I'll probably check in on those but we'll see I'll probably do some stuff in there um but yeah are you guys doing summer sock camp you should let me know and like I said if you have any pattern suggestions I'm always open to anything um I guess I'll see you guys next week with an update on how far I get this week. Hopefully I get at least the journey socks done and one more started. That's my goal for this week is get those journey socks done and then one other pair started just with work with dyeing and 
all that stuff. I don't want to set too lofty of goals for myself that then I don't get them done and feel disappointed and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So if you're doing summer sock camp, let me know. If you have pattern suggestions, let me know. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know. If you have any comments or concerns, questions, let me know. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.